Hello, this is Dr. Paulette Jones Olasaji cooking with the Apostle 0360. We're going to do a very, very quick meal today. Remember, I told you I kept getting all of these vegetables from the market? Well, this time on yesterday, Pastor Kim brought me some kale. She didn't know what it was. She's from New York. <laughs> but anyway, I prepared them on yesterday, cleaned them up, cut them. This is our bag kale I had in the refrigerator. I like to steam my vegetables. I think you know that. When I don't steam it, I like to put them in the oven and roast them. So I'm gonna put this in the steamer. You know I like using my steamer. I don't want the kale to cook too much, all right? And then we're going to put a little bit of seasoning and I've got some, a little bit of salt, cayenne pepper, a little bit of accent. I like a little bit of accent. on the greens and then I'm going to put the second bag on top of that I just press it down a little bit and let it cook it's already beginning to cook a little bit in the steam fryer I asked somebody to please call and let me know where I can get a new pan no one's contacting me yet, so I guess nobody knows about this pan except me. It's a wonderful, wonderful pan. And when you cook your chicken breast in it, it almost tastes like rotisserie chicken. It's juicy, nice and soft. I'm going to put the rest of the seasoning on there. I didn't show you the food. I'm sorry. There you go. I'm going to put the rest of the seasoning on the kale. And then I'll taste it later to make sure it's seasoned enough, okay? No water. I don't like to put water in it. I like for it to steam from its own beans. Let me get some olive oil. Put just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on it. And then I'm going to put the top on. Just press it down over the greens. This is the hole where the steam comes out. So we're gonna turn it this way, all right? And that will be cooking because I don't want it to cook all the way through. You know, I like my crunchy. Then we'll start doing something else. So I usually don't eat a whole lot of meat and I have problems so I've been getting um, protein powder to make a drink. But today, I wanna to turn the fan on just a little bit. And I took a mallet and took a chicken breast. You know chicken breasts are so large these, these days. And I just pounded the chicken breast, cut them thin, and pounded them into little tiny strips. See how flat and thin they are? It's easier to cook and it's easier to eat too for somebody that have trouble eating meat, but you know you need protein. So we're gonna put that in. the fryer and this will probably be enough for me for about maybe four or five meals because I don't eat a lot of meat and I just season my uh, chicken with salt and pepper you know I don't put a lot of stuff on it so it depends on what you like we're just going to drop that in, let it fry down, okay? It won't take long. And remember, I told you I don't like for the meat to sit in oil um, after I cook it. So I have my rack over here, and I'm going to put it on the rack so that the oil will drip to the bottom of the pan. It won't take long because they're so thin. You can look at this breast and see how large they were. So this one is cut in half. And it's still good. Sometimes if you use, after you cook it and take it out, if you put a little bit of ranch seasoning on it, 
and sprinkle a little bit more cayenne. If you like the spicy chicken, it will taste wonderful, wonderful. So we'll just give that a little bit of time to cook while we get this other one ready. They're done, but I like a little crunch on mine, so I'm gonna give it just a few more minutes. And then we'll put it on the tray. Okay, see how nice and brown they are? So make sure you can see it. They're nice and brown. That's what was in the pan. We're going to take it out and put it on the tray. And we'll get ready to put the next batch in. We'll drop that one. Make sure we lay these out so they're nice and let me check our kale make sure it's cooking down because I don't want it to lose its crunch On it. And 
it's just a little bit more seasoning. Well, I'm gonna pour on it with a little bit of cayenne. A little bit of ranch. And a little bit of salt. And I put the salt back so I have to walk out of the frame for a minute just to get the salt. up a little bit and let it simmer down. I think that'll be about maybe a few more minutes. And it should be good. I'm going to put a little bit of the seasoning on the chicken that came out. This is just a nice seasoning that I'm putting on it and a little bit of cayenne. I like my chicken spicy so. Alright, let's take this piece up. We have one last piece in there and then we'll be finished. sprinkle a little bit of seasoning on this one as well. It just came out. I like to put a little seasoning when it first comes out of the pan. A little bit of ranch seasoning. And this will be our last piece. Now, one of the things I told you, some of y'all like meat in your vegetables. I don't mind putting the meat in the vegetables, but I don't like to cook it in the vegetables. So what I did earlier today, I cooked some pork neck bones, and that's what's in this pot. I'm gonna take that out, and because our kale is almost cooked, I just set it on top of the vegetables. And I know you will think that I cooked it in there, but I didn't, and I'm not gonna even use the water from it. And I'm gonna put this on top. Lay it on top. It's cooking probably for about 45 minutes to an hour. So it's real soft and it's all enough to go in. This will satisfy the meat eaters who just gotta have some meat in their vegetables. But I don't like to put the flavor through it. And I know some people probably say, well, what's the point of putting the meat in it if you're not gonna cook it in? That's just a personal thing with me. Our last piece of chicken. I'm gonna begin to put the chicken on the platter. And this is our fried chicken platter. That over on the top. That one's thicker than the other, so I want to make sure it cooks a little bit longer. While that piece is cooking, I'm going to take my coffee pail out. in a serving bowl. I'm going 
wasn't able to get it all in there, but I just wanted you to see it. It's kind of nice and clean. It looks, looks real good. And we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of the ranch on top of that. And because it's for me, a little bit of the cayenne. And remember, we have some more in the, in the pot for those people that don't like a lot of spice. When you happen to stop by, I have something for you as well. And this piece of chicken is cooked as well. So guess what? That's dinner. Let me show it to you because I want you to be excited, okay? This is our platter of kale. I've got some meat on top. That's pork neck bones. And this is our platter of fried chicken breast. Pounded and cut very thin and fried. And I topped it with cayenne pepper and some ranch seasoning. So this is the last piece. So we're just gonna put this over on this drain a little bit. Sprinkle a little bit of pepper on it. And a little bit of ranch. And that brings our dinner to a close. I hope I was able to help you today. Remember, for those of you who came on with me the other day, I was talking to you about Steve Harvey's Elevate. Well, I'm on day number four of Elevate. When I started, I wish I could have shown you on day one, I was using a walker because I hurt my knee. And this is day number four. And I'm not on a walker. I don't have any pain in my knee. I feel vital, just excited. I see what Steve is talking about. My favorite is still tart cherry flavor. I tried the chocolate on yesterday. It's good, but I like this one better. I got one more flavor to try. So I'm going to suggest to those of you who are feeling a little bit run down, a little achy, a little maybe older than your age, try Elevate. Steve Harvey's Elevate. And this is the tart cherry flavor Vitality Daily Greens. I just do it once a day and you just mix it in some cold water. It's wonderful and I pray that you try it and have a good day. Again, Steve Harvey's not paying me to do this commercial for him. I just wanted you to know that this is something that I think will help you. All right? May God bless you and keep you. Have a good day with the Lord. All right? And I am moving out now.